Alright, hey guys, it's May. So today I figured I'd go over air shots because it's been, I've been playing this video for three, four weeks and I haven't acted on it until now. But then again, that's probably due to the fact that I really have not found a good, a good way to put this into words at all. It's been incredibly hard for me to even explain to myself in my head, much less in a video. But nonetheless, I need to get it out of the way before it completely throws off all concentration I have, so... Without further ado, um, the first thing to know is that you need to not be moving very much. It's possible to move and do it, but try to minimize your movement when you're going for an air shot on the ground. It's much harder to move when you're like strafing long distances left and right than when you're still or relatively still watching the other guy come to you. It's easier that way. Minimize your movement. It makes it incredibly easy to minimize your movement before you go for an air shot. Mm. Second thing to know, I like to aim for the peak of somebody's jump because they're moving their slowest at the peak of the jump rather than when they're ascending, when, rather than when they're going off the ground at full speed or going towards the ground at full speed. I really don't want to die to this spy. All right. Um, and the final thing to note is preference between original and stock. I personally think I'm much more consistent with the original because of the central aiming rockets, like they go straight down the crosshair. With the stock, however, I'll go ahead and switch up so you guys can see, they aim from the side and go towards the center. I feel like that throws off my consistency a lot. But again, the only difference between those two weapons is preference. So if you feel that you're more consistent with the stock than you are with the original, you're probably correct. Um, oh, what the heck? Well, that's why we call it the Luxman, I guess. Anyway, uh, back to my original so I don't completely destroy my aim. Uh, now for dodging air shots. Dodging is more reliant on your ability to strafe and how, not really how high your sense is, it's mostly based on your strafing ability, but like, my sense is like one and a half inches per 360, like seven in game. So I play in a really high sensitivity, and it helps a lot for me. But sensitivity, like the original stock, is all comfort. So if you're comfortable with a low sense and you can strafe better like that, that's probably the better option. Uh, but needing to know how to strafe is absolutely crucial to dodging air shots, simply because it makes it so that you're hard to hit if you can throw off their aim even a couple centimeters. and their entire team is dead. They're like not moving. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? Anyway. Oh, oh, this is bad. Well, that was gonna happen eventually. Anyway, having a high sensitivity is very crucial to dodging air shots simply because it allows you to throw off the other guy's aim. Um, I think that's really it. I'm probably going to play out. Maybe either this round or the next one. I don't know. I want to try and get some air shot clips in this video. The past couple times I've tried to record this worked out a little bit better, but the commentary was garbage. Like, this commentary is bad. The commentary in the last two times I tried to record this today were utter trash. Like, I could not listen to myself recording it, much less watching it and watching and editing it. And even less so than you guys watching it on YouTube. That just, no. Go, ah, had to take my eyes off the sniper for two seconds. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if I'll play another round. Probably not, because I've gone over all I need to go over, so. I don't even, yeah, I'm not even going to get up in time to finish this round, so. I'll talk to you guys later. 